Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to get yourself out of Microsoft account when you just set up a brand new computer here. Okay, once again, this is Windows 11 with the new firmware updates. Windows require you to sign up with the Microsoft account if you don't have one, but if you have a Microsoft account, it require you to sign in with it. Now, definitely, if you want to just be a standalone laptop and you do not want yourself to be up in one drive or the document things and that, this video, I'm going to walk you through how to sign yourself out of Microsoft account and remove the email address in this Windows 11. All right, so here I have a brand new computer. And of course, this is the, uh, the welcome page. They're going to say welcome to Windows 11. Please go ahead and log in yourself to Wi-Fi or hardwired. So I'm going to connect myself to the internet. Okay. And I'm going to click next. Once it's connected to the internet, you can click next again. So it's gonna do some Windows updates. Um, just leave the computer plugged in. So I have the charger here and my charger is being plugged in and it's charging up the laptop. If you're using on a desktop, please just leave it as is. So right after that Windows update, you're gonna come to this license agreement. You can review that and then click accept. Now you can skip this for now. It's pretty much asking you to name your laptop. Um, I'm just gonna skip it for now. You don't have to name anything. That is not the user, it's just a name for your device, okay? Now it's gonna unlock the Microsoft experience. Here is the screen that asks you to either log into Microsoft account. If you have one, you can sign in. If you do not have one, you can create one for yourself. Fortunately, I have one already. I am going to sign in. Sign in. So here, Microsoft is going to list whether you want to restore from your computer. Like I said, they're keeping track of you nowadays. You see how they're gonna keep track of me, that how many computers I have used, that it says view more options. You can see that I have this laptop here that was set up on April 15, another desktop on April 13, and then this one here was March 22nd, and a Dell on a March 22nd. As you can see, I have one Microsoft account, and then it was signed into multiple computers, and you can see that those are the computer listed that I was registered with at what date that was. Now you can, let's just say this was your old computer that you know died on April 15, and then you can click that and click next. It would recover all the data from your OneDrive and restore into this new laptop. However, this is not the case for me. I need to set up as a new device, okay? So in my case, I'm gonna set up as a new device, click next skip for now I do not need the fingerprint create a pin sure so you must create a pin I guess um, something that you can remember I just wanted to get to the end of the um, the session here so click next, privacy settings, make sure you read them, agree, click accept. And this is the part where you can do the protection of your device. I'm gonna skip it. Skip all this. Okay, gonna skip that as well. Not now. Decline. 
decline i don't need the storage i don't need 365 office skip for now they're trying to sell you first month for pc game pass for 9.99 again it's all this gaming stuff imagine if you need to set this one up for you know for your work and they're trying to thinking that you need it for games and whatnot oh well here is the session where I'm going to talk about how you can disconnect the computer from the Microsoft account and this running as a standalone. Just give it a few minutes while it's still registering. Alright, we are almost there. So here is the screen. And the first thing you want to do and is to get yourself get out from this Microsoft account. So go to settings, go to accounts, and under your profile, click on that. Here is where it says Microsoft account. Window is better when it settings and files automatically sync you do not want that you want to sign in with local account instead so click on sign in with local account do you want to create a backup nope i do not have anything this is a brand new computer so skip this step are you sure you want to switch to local account yes of course so put in a password this password here is the microsoft account password that you created so for me, I have my, oops. So put in that password. And now here it says, enter your local account info. So how do you want to name your computer? I'm going to name it as owner. No password, click next, sign out and finish. Okay. So I just locked myself out of Microsoft account and I created a local standalone user here which I name it as owner and no password. So just click sign in. Remember the pin that you created, that pin is no longer exists anymore. So now you're pretty much a standalone computer here without logging into Microsoft account. Second step is to go to settings. What you wanna do is you want to go to account and you want to click on email and accounts, right on this one here. Sorry, you want to go to this. Let me try that again. You want to go to accounts and you want to go to email and accounts. Here you want to get out from this email address. So go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and remove account click yes so that would remove away from that existing account and right now the computer is just pretty much standalone by default and it doesn't require you to log into Microsoft account all right I hope this video is helpful if you do find this video helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for liking the video and if you have any question comment down below I'll answer those questions in the comment have a good day and bye now